Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna compare the basic contracts in Payday 2 and which ones are giving the most money. And of course, we're gonna do some maths. But don't worry, won't be too hard though. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around. Let's start with the first category. Bank heist. There are a few different bank heists out there. The usual bank heist where you can get random loot like gold or money but it is also possible to only get access to the deposit boxes then we have the cash heist where you can get 4 up to 8 bags of money next up we have the gold heist where you can get 2 up to 5 gold bags and of course we didn't forget about the safe deposit boxes heist hmm wow okay but which one gives the most money now? By the way, we are gonna presume that we have the saw with us, which makes 12 minute ish at the usual bank heist and 1.55 billion in dollars. So, but there's the one thing we need to mention. So, I did a few gold hikes to see the payday and it went really different. The one time I was at 12 minute dish as well, but I just earned 1.367 billion dollars. So, as I told you earlier, it depends on spawn luck if you get 2 or 5 packs of gold. And I did it another time afterwards immediately, and I earned 1.8 billion dollars in under 14 minutes. So, we see that our payday has much to do with spawn luck, right? Since there can be 2 or 5 gold bags. This is the difference of whole 150%. By the way, it would have been possible to escape at the 12 minute mark again, but the van wasn't at the good spot. So, what can we learn from that? The gold heist is gonna give the most when doing it 10 times compared to the others. It's a good map to practice stealthing, as well as it makes a lot of fun, obviously. Quick and easy money. But here comes the downside, and yeah, it's the spawn lock. It isn't making that much of a difference if you play with your friends, but it hurts even more when you play solo. I would give the heist 3 out of 5 stars, since it's an easy heist, but also quite challenging for new players. Next up, we have the diamond star. This heist depends on spawn luck as well, since the security room can be outside but also inside the store. It took about 12 minutes to do this heist and I earned 850k for this. I give the diamond store 2.5 stars out of 5, since it's also an easy heist but not as easy as the jewelry store for example, and it has also to do with spawn luck. So when we talk about jewels, then let's go to the jewelry store. The jewelry store was the first heist I played in stealth, and back to then nothing changed that specifically. Two cops who can spawn at the outside with no pager, and one up to four guards in the whole map who have a pager. The jewelry store is a kinda nice map. I give this map one star out of five since it's pretty easy, but the reward isn't that high. It just gives around about. 320k and I needed for this size six and a half minutes and by the way this map is probably the best map to collect packages so then we have the little sister of the jewelry store the Ukrainian job the one thing that is changing on this map is that you need to collect the tiara instead of the usual jewel and yeah guys here we go this has brought me around about 680k in under five minutes I would give this heist 2 out of 5 stars, since it's basically the jewelry store, but it's also possible to get more than 4 guides with a pager, and you can be even faster when your drill isn't jamming the whole time. So I calculated everything for you which contract would give the most money by playing 1 hour. So, the 4th place is the jewelry store you would get 3.1 billion dollars. The third place is the diamond store with 4.26 billion dollars. The second one is the bank heist and I took the 1.5 billion value for this. And when it's uh, payday time, 7.76 no. no. billion dollars. No, but you might ask right okay. now, what? The Ukrainian job gives the most money. Yes, it does. 
also a year, the winner is the Ukrainian job, with 8.1 billion dollars. So guys, if you want to see more videos like that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I hope I see you soon, goodbye and good afternoon.